So hey, how did you hook up with this job? Are we killing you? No. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? yep. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're in school now. I am. What do you What do you study? Um, I'm an artist. I study painting. Cool. So it works out. The winter time is, is pretty brutal though. Oh, you work in the winter. I work this. all year round. Okay. Oh my god. Job all year round. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Oh, she figured it. It's all good. Well just... played. Awesome. Yes. Very so, uh, well played. What are you what, what what kind of painting? What uh, what medium? Painter. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, say that again? Abstract. Okay. Mostly. I do a lot of multimedia though. I don't just use paint, I use like ink or Wow. Do not run over the babies, people. I did, I studied art as well. Did you? I, I'm not an artist now, but I did study art. And I did uh, found, what I call, what was called found sound, which was finding sounds in found objects and then amplifying them. How does that work? I did a lot of work with um, wind, okay. um, work with um, metals that were, metal, or I guess any object, but wood is more of a flat sound, but a lot of sounds that had higher pitched noises. And then a lot of work with um, gears and small motorized engines, a lot with clock gears and such. No, it was all about finding the sound in the objects. So allow, allowing the, the objects to manifest not only as visual objects, but as sound. That's awesome. It was, it was fun. Um, my father said to me, how are you going to pay your rent? And I assumed that that meant that he wasn't going to be willing to uh, help me explore how my art might help me pay my rent. Fair enough. <laughs> so who, who would you describe as influences? Um, Lou Dillon. Wait, who? Lou Dillon. Her name is Lou Dillon. Lou Dillon, okay. Um, I like a lot of like sculpture and like lots of photographers. I've had papers with other photographers. Wait, photographers? Some of us, yeah. Like who? I don't know names. I honestly, I don't. No, no, it's all good. I always loved um, Gio Cometti, the guy who does the sculptures with the really, really long, skinny legs. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Egon Schiele, the, the Austrian artist who did all of the really long, skinny fingers. So I, I don't know what that says about me, that I was always really attracted to like finding a single facet of human existence and amplifying it to the point where it could be both beautiful and creepy simultaneously. Yeah. Like I think, I think redefining ugly is more interesting than redefining beauty. Thank you. So we're, we're definitely on the same thing. I think everybody here was just like, oh yeah. Yeah, totally. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no worries. We're having a great time. I can't believe it's going to go on all night. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Oh, hey, there's pines right there, just so you know. Oh, okay. Cool. Not like you will ever be able to find your way back here. No, probably not. Oh, Whee! yeah, do it! Yeah. Yes! Yeah, 
Yeah, poor Bill took his shoulder to the Adam's apple. Sorry, love. <laughs> So, uh, Rob here, he and I are writers, and his his first novel's coming out in November. Fiction or non-fiction? Fiction. Science fiction. What's it about, Rob? What's it about? <laughs> uh, it's about Denver turned into a genetically engineered living flesh city. You know what? That's going to happen in worldwide. Say what? So there you go, it's pressing. Yeah. There you yes. Go. I hope so. Pressing it, pressing it? Yeah. <laughs> either way. I say pressing it, you but could, I you knew could, what you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> say it either way. I, she didn't even miss a beat. She was like, yeah, that's going to happen worldwide. Yeah. Of the convention center. I'm assuming that wasn't with uh, sanctioned. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty fucking sweet, though. I'm not going to lie. It was the best view of Denver that I've ever seen in my life. I'll show you a couple pictures. But we were up there, and all we, were, we kept talking about was, like, how the world is completely fucked. Oh. How the world is completely fucked. Yeah. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. You've got a, you've got a, a, a cab full of believers here. Yeah. This is this is much like Rob's second novel that he's writing here, and then he needs to finish. If this was ever an impetus, because I the only thing that I would disagree with you about.